everyone welcome back to our talk show first of all a uh, happy new year to all of you so with new year we have got an amazing topic over here an amazing personality in our studio today last time we had mr vinayak in our studio and we learned how a college teacher actually started his uh, spiritual journey today we have a very special guest for all of you uh it's a long introduction about him and we are very honored to have it have him in our studio he is a engineer by his profession educational profession he has uh, given lectures in esteemed universities like university of melbourne cambridge university princeton university he has been all be, also been invited for many of the international and national conferences including the peace conference conducted by uh, unicef so we have mr chetan acharan with us and we have a amazing topic for all of you today that is how to actually follow your new year resolution with the same spirit you make it so it's a very uh, widely known concept called what is called new year resolution we all make it and it's made to break it so that's that's a kind of a line which is connected to new year resolution so we have a uh, eligible personality over here who is for the first time going to help us to actually figure it out how to solve this problem of not fo- following new resolution welcome to our show welcome to our studio and personally uh, i am very honored to uh, be with you over here so first of all thank you so much for sparing time for us and uh, this question how to follow the a new resolution that's i don't know about the audience but i i would be very glad to know the solution today so my first uh, question is new year resolution is actually kind of a resolution which all of us make after some inspiration after s- some some motivation from something but it, it eventually never works never work for me so what do you think what can be uh, the solution for actually following a new re- new year resolution yeah So first of all I'm also honored to be here with you <laughs> and whenever we make any resolution to do anything to improve ourselves there is a starting point and that is inspiration mm-hmm. inspiration is actually a very mysterious phenomena uh, is a sudden surcharge of energy insight it's almost like we feel electrified at that time. i have to do this yep and we just start off and that's great you know great things require a great force to begin mm-hmm. so inspiration as a starting point is very good the problem comes when we expect that the inspiration that started us off will sustain us okay because the very nature of inspiration is that it is beyond logic mm-hmm. it is beyond reasoning there may be logic and reasoning underlying the inspiration but the inspiration the surcharge of energy and insight that comprises the uh, essence of inspiration that is not replicable you mean to say it's temporary or something of that sort temporary is a negative way of putting it okay. i would just say that it is not replicable okay the inspiration can also come again okay so in that sense it may not be gone forever okay but the point is it is not something which we can always bank on okay so i may feel if i decide i want to exercise i may feel inspired first day second day third day but after week i may not feel inspired well that's so, that's completely uh, sorry to interrupt but that's completely very related to many of us on 31st of december of every year i personally make a lot of resolutions to be fit next year and i am inspired to do that so what do you think what's wrong in this inspiration which is not working for me and for many of us 
there's nothing wrong with inspiration mm-hmm. it is what is wrong is what we expect from inspiration okay inspiration is a very good thing when we get it we need to cherish it and start off okay but the very nature of inspiration is it is not a sustainable thing it is not a replicable thing at our will okay uh, those who wait for inspiration they are waiters amazing so <laughs> <laughs> they are not workers they are not strivers okay so inspiration may get us moving mm-hmm. but what will keep us moving is not inspiration but conviction 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 okay by conviction i refer to the rational intellectual logical side of us okay so when we make a resolution at that time we have that surcharge of energy and insight but we need to use that to pen down our thoughts to verbalize analyze and express our thoughts and this is the reason why i want to do this 1 2 3 4 5 5 and write it down and refresh it regularly okay so the intelligence is something which can be a sustainable fuel for us i may not feel like doing something mm-hmm. but if i know that it is important for me i will do it that's great so the difference say between a child and a mother mm-hmm. when the child has to take an injection the child doesn't want to take it mm-hmm. and the child may cry but the mother knows this injection is important the difference is that when the child gets pierced the child feels pain the mother also feels pain and the mother may feel more pain because the child is in so much pain but the mother's intelligence is strong the child's intelligence is not there so much so from inspiration which will give get us to start off to move on we need to move the intelligence that's what gives us conviction and conviction is a sustainable fuel that means what came upon us by just some some force or power beyond our planning beyond our will that we internalize it quite often when you want to do something say we decide i'll wake up early in the morning so that i can have a <laughs> i can tap the fresh morning hours yeah. you wake up in the morning the alarm rings we wake up the alarm is saying wake up and inside us some voice is saying go to sleep so some voice is going to sleep now at this point who will win that will depend on my conviction so if i have given deep enough thought of why it is important for me to do a particular thing then those thoughts will pop up in my mind mm-hmm. and not only pop up in my mind we can also keep them accessible keep a diary keep a phone where we written down okay why am i doing this that's mm-hmm. great so in sanskrit there are two distinct words there is prerna and there is buddhi okay so prerna is inspiration okay prerna will start us but buddhi will keep us moving evam buddhe param buddhva samsthabhya atmana matmana in the bhagavad gita 3.43 krishna says that use your intelligence to situate yourself at a higher level mm-hmm. so that that intelligence is what uh, gives us conviction That's so right. the conviction will enable us to sustain when the inspiration goes low so uh, i mean that's really amazing to know that uh, conviction is something which is going to uh, support the inspiration and eventually uh, get us going but uh, according to my personal experience i mean i mean most of us have this experience i'm sure about that that we have the inspiration to a extent i can say we can i mean we can have a sort of conviction also but that's very temporary because after a particular period of time our conviction weakens up inspiration is completely lost and that's how uh, we tend to not follow our new year resolution or whatever resolutions we make new year is actually just a reason to make resolutions but in our normal life also conviction weakens up with time so how can we actually sustain on a better conviction via intelligence yeah So till now we talked about the internals. Mm-hmm. The inspiration we could say is more of the emotional drive. Mm-hmm. The conviction is more of the intellectual drive. Uh, we live as much inside us as much as we live outside us. So to complement inspiration and conviction, we need facilitation. 
facilitation facilitation means mm -hmm. externally we need to create the facilities that will help us to implement the resolution that's great right. so for example if a person decides that say i'm not going to somebody has become an alcoholic and they want to recover from alcoholism the first thing that they are told is don't go to a bar if a person has a job in a bar <laughs> they say i will not fall afraid of alcohol no in that environment it is impossible yeah so facilitation means create the external support systems which will enable us to avoid indulging on things when the desires come up see the problem is that when we make a resolution we we are inspired we are convinced but our desires pop up as sudden spikes of impulse very so, true so, so, and when the spike comes it just blinds us yeah and during the spike we may do things which we had resolved absolutely not to do we may decide to diet and then suddenly a spike comes you know i dieted for long i want to enjoy Start eating, 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 and then uh, what did I do? Why did I eat so much? Happens with me every day. <laughs> <laughs> that is with all of us. Yeah. So the thing is that it's that spike of desire. It doesn't stay for long. Mm -hmm. It comes, and it's not there twenty-four hours a day. It's not there lifelong. It comes for some time. It stays for that, and that time it's almost intolerable. And that. when the spike of desire has shot up at that time sometimes our intelligence may also not work and we feel whatever inspiration we are that's all gone we just feel driven towards that desire at that time so if at that time we have some external protection mm -hmm. the external protection in the sense that there is a obstacle between us and the facility to indulge in that particular thing okay so a recovering alcoholic may get a urge for alcohol but if there's no no bottle at home there's no bottle nearby mm -hmm. and as you go to a bar which is far away now while one is going to get that one can always go and get that but during that time the spike goes down once intelligence recovers hey why am i doing this i don't need to do this so if one feels hunger pangs if one keeps fatty food next to oneself then one may decide i won't eat it there was and there's a uh, social psychologist did some survey mm -hmm. and they found that when people make decisions mm -hmm. so for example if there were dieters who decided we are going to eat a regulated there's some healthy snacks like fruits and sa vegetable salads and they had some unhealthy snacks some burgers or whatever now if both of them were kept uh, say in the drawer below the working place if they're conscious they will they feel hungry they will choose the healthy snack But if they are unconscious, they are talking on phone, surfing something on the net. They feel hunger. Then, without even their awareness, the hand will go to the unhealthy snack. That's true. So what is happening over here is that when the desire comes up, either it comes up as a intolerably strong desire, or it comes as a desire which which sneaks in when we are not aware. But in either case, if the facility to indulge in that desire is readily available, mm -hmm. then we will fall for it. on in the opposite direction if the facility to do the good thing is also easily available so for example if i decide that i want i am hungry but if the healthy food is available nearby i'll take the healthy food if i decide to exercise if a facility for exercising is nearby for me it's available so then we'll be able to do it more easily so the facilitation requires maybe some change in our lifestyle change in the physical landscape around us so we need supports for us for implementing what we want to do if we don't create those supports the conviction itself will not sustain us so depending on our specific situation how we can facilitate so facilitation has two parts in it one is creating some kind of obstacle between us and the activity which we don't want to do mm -hmm. and creating some kind of pathway for us to do the activity which you want to do more easily that's great this facilitation will make it much more easier mm -hmm. to implement the resolution and to resist the spike of desires uh, that's really great but uh, after that one more one more thought comes into my mind facilities 
to actually uh, take us to a good resolution and facilities to take us away both are available for us to take it now that that was a really beautiful point that we must be inspired then convicted to do it and we have, we must have a conviction to do it and then we must have a facility to do it but the problem is that a good facility to do things versus a bad facility to spoil it both are easily available so how do we actually uh, I, I would rather say how do we stay in the vicinity of the good facility and not indulge in a bad facility which which usually happens like i'll give you example nobody actually enrolls in a bad gym everybody actually goes in a very good gym the okay. best gym probably the best classes the best coaching uh, they can have but matter of fact after a few days the best does not work it it just does not inspire us or keeps us on the track anymore so though yes the facility is there but the bad facilities are also there so what keeps us uh, yeah. you know balance in the both yes so in the external world there are two broad i could say things one is objects mm -hmm. the other is people 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 okay so we can try to create as i said physical infrastructure mm -hmm. which will facilitate us but a more important support is association 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 if we have the association of those who are also similarly determined to do a particular thing okay that can inspire us you know our desires are not just linear they are triangular they are triangular yeah okay. what i mean by this That's is a new one <laughs> okay <laughs> so just a few months ago this video game pokemon go came out okay and you know some people just got hooked to it clicking 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 yeah. clicking you know going here going there trying to catch pokemon on top of the building or in the garden now people who had not played their game what is the why you nuts why are you so lost in this game mm -hmm. so just by hearing about the game there was no attraction to that game okay but if they saw somebody hey, this is your friend my, my friend is doing what is he doing why are you so caught in this you play it just and they start playing and they are clicking away clicking away clicking away they also get lost in it Mm -hmm. so in this case just seeing that game may not induce the desire mm -hmm. but seeing someone playing that game that induces the desire let me try it out that's amazing i just in america i met one student is indian student just one year in the university and he's become a sold out fan of baseball oh <laughs> in india nobody knows baseball practically <laughs> Is cricket is else. everything and how did it happen because in the university everybody is playing baseball you wanted mm -hmm. to belong seeing all that so triangular desires so triangular desires means that often our des linear desires means our desire is stimulated by seeing the object mm -hmm. but triangular desire means that the desire is stimulated by seeing someone engaging with that object so a person who is actually engaged in that object exactly so if we want to make any resolution it's best to find at least one friend who also wants to make the same resolution mm -hmm. and seeing that person determined to do it that will inspire us and when uh, when that person feels down seeing us determined will inspire that person mm -hmm. so this triangularity of desires is what we need to tap and that's where association comes in sangat sanjayate kama the bhagavad gita says that in association our desires develop amazing so by finding like minded association we will be able to concretely implement our resolutions mm -hmm. when our inspiration when our conviction goes down when the facilities may not inspire us just as you said as you rightly said just seeing the gym may not yeah. inspire us but seeing somebody doing a workout in the gym seeing a friend doing a workout in the gym Yeah. that will inspire us so that's what is association that's amazing that's amazing that's a really good point i mean that our desires are not linear they are triangular they are linear but they're not just linear <laughs> and they're they not just linear uh that brings brings me to a uh, one more point i would just like to have a clarity on it when you say that if we need to have association to have our desires uh, get to some uh resolution in that case i personally feel that we are actually giving a lot of decision making or as a result to someone else than to us 
because we are totally dependent on some other person who is going to inspire us to do something i personally feel i mean i have experienced this in my life also that when my friends uh, went with me for something i was inspired but alone i was not inspired so i would like to know i mean because you have given us such amazing thoughts on resolution is there anything which can perpetually give us the set of mind which of course needs the support of all the points you said but it itself is self sustaining to get us mm. ahead from our resolution so what is that yeah. i mean I, i am really worried about if what people don't have that that one friend who can help them out what people don't have that facility that they can be inspired of uh, everybody has inspiration and to extend everybody has conviction so what is that which can you know sus- make them sustain Uh, without yeah. these things or with less of these things also yes ultimately all resolutions mm-hmm. will succeed only when there is a change of heart there is a change of heart yeah, there is purification okay now we often uh, think of the inner world in a little dismissive way just thoughts mm-hmm. just desires but actually the inner world is also as concrete not in the physical sense mm-hmm. but in a effectual sense in the sense of the way it has effect on us mm-hmm. so when we make when we do any particular activity there are we could say in metaphorical sense tracks created in our mind okay and then when we repeatedly think desire act in a particular way that track is created and in future our thoughts naturally go along that track mm-hmm. so for example if this floor was slightly inclined mm-hmm. or this floor had a groove which was inclined in a particular way and if water fell over here naturally the water would flow in that direction of course now, even if i am saying i don't want the water to flow in that direction my just wanting the water to flow in the opposite direction is not going to work what i need to do if i want the water to flow in that other direction is change the flooring if the floor is inclined this way and i want the water to flow this way i have to get the floor to be inclined this way so now this word inclination is significant because we also use the word inclination for our innate tendencies you know okay i have inclination for finance i have inclination for public speaking what does it mean that means i am naturally inclined toward this thing i like to do it my thoughts my desires my plans my analysis it naturally flows in this direction so purification means changing the inclination of our mind okay and how so, do we attain yeah. that yes so everything else we talked about mm-hmm. was actually connected with our mind our intelligence our social circle our physical infrastructure around us but but the purification connects with us who we are mm-hmm. so the bhagavad gita explains that at our core we are spiritual beings mm-hmm. we are or is called as atma and we are parts of the whole mm-hmm. and when we connect with the whole we become whole that's amazing so and the connection with the whole is what happens through bhakti 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 okay. yoga is a, a whole systematic process mm-hmm. which connects us with the whole and the absolute truth who is known by different names in different traditions that absolute truth is all pure pavitranam pavitram yo mangalanam cha mangalam so when we connect with that absolute truth whether it is by prayer whether it's by mantra chanting whether it is by by worship uh, there are various ways in which we can connect this purifies us mm. and this purification just like if i put my hand in an electric socket electricity will flow into me so when we connect with the one who is all pure purity flows into us and purification essentially is the rejigging the redesigning the redirecting of our mental architecture and when that happens then the inclination itself to do the undesirable goes away I mean, we are talking about resolution at that time. There is an inclination to do something else, of but course. no, I want to do this. Yeah. But 
purification will remove the inclination itself and that is what bhakti that is what devotion can do for us amazing amazing that, that's that's a real really amazing uh, points we got to know where that that has really changed my perception towards resolution to be very frank so just to conclude uh, it's a new perception towards how we can have a resolution being fulfilled being inspired to do something being having a conviction to do it having a facility to accommodate it having an association to support it and at the end and the last but not the least having devotion bhakti to actually make it last for a very long time so that comes down to a acronym ic fab which can which can be said ic fabulous so that's an amazing that's a, that's an amazing uh, uh, you know learning from this i really appreciate this level of thinking so that's all for today guys uh, i would just like to know how did how did you like our show so just hashtag ifab i see fab everywhere and let's see your love around and moreover in the video here just comment if you have some resolution and you were not able to complete it what are your feelings about it so that we also know about your comments so let's meet up next time with some more amazing personality and more wider perspectives and a new fresh perception about our life and spirituality thank you so much thank you so much for coming on our show thank you yeah. hey krishna take care and have a happy new year ahead happy new year to all of you yeah. too and yes take care of your resolution by ic fab thank you so much thank you so much for watching